Okay guys, this video is kind of based on, I know we're on YouTube, but it's kind of based on uh, TikTok things that I've seen. So I wanna talk about TikTok for a moment. Let me give you my analysis of TikTok. I believe it's, it's dethroned Instagram for being the number one social media. Um, I believe more people watching TikTok than anything else, but I still like YouTube better than TikTok, but I do look at TikTok. So let's talk about what I look at. I look at recipes. I look at cleaning solutions. I look at storage solutions. And if you're on TikTok, you'll know that you can form your searches and more of those videos will show. I do not watch the women kind of degrading themselves by shaking their body in front of the camera. I don't do that. Um, I do not watch men and women who were using stolen material from professional comedians to look funny when they're not. They're using somebody else's material. I don't get, how is it on YouTube, I can't show you a clip from Warner Brothers. You know, there's copyright infringement all over the place on YouTube. We get popped right away. But TikTok can just totally destroy the industry and use any anybody's music. You can lip sync to it and you look like the artist and I just don't get it. I believe that will be changing soon in the future. These are my takes on TikTok. So I go to TikTok for recipes and all those other things I listed. There's a lot on TikTok I will pass by or prevent seeing anymore because I really think comedians should get their own credit for their comedy and not some housewife that's bored and wants to lip sync to the comedy. But anyway, that's my take. So these, we're going to put two cleaning things that I saw on TikTok. Uh, they're cleaning comedy solutions, formulas, whatever you want to call it. I saw them and I want to see if they really work. I had to go to Goodwill and buy a pan. Let me pull this out here. Hold on a second. Let me pull a pan out. I literally had to go to Goodwill and buy these pans that had dirty bottoms because they claim to completely clean the bottom like brand new and all that. I don't trust a lot of what I see on TikTok. I think everything's staged, even the cleaning supplies. The tires look great. The car detail looks amazing. I really believe those aren't 100% true. So we're gonna try out what I saw. So come on in close and I'll show you what I got and we'll talk about it. All right, let's do a little rundown. These pots, as you can see, they're dirty on bottom. They got a lot of built up over, I'm guessing, a year or two years, many years, whatever. So this pan you has a lot of build up. I'll get in closer when we're doing it, but we're going to be using this product. It's called the Pink Stuff. They've raved about it. I believe I've reviewed this once in the past a long time ago. But the pink stuff, man, you just would think this is like the Messiah right here. I mean, they make it look amazing. Like it can do anything. So I bought one of these. It was only, uh, I think it was like nine bucks. And I bought the pink stuff and we'll try it. Um, on this side, we're going to be doing a, a combination they show you, okay? They tell you to take take some salt and some baking soda and some dish detergent and some dryer sheets that you're going to lay over this and then pour white wine vinegar on top of it and let it set for a couple. We're going to let both set for a couple hours. We're going to come back and see how good they work. I'm not going to wipe this off right away. I'm not going to wipe this formula off right away. So we're going to do both pans with its closest. This one goes on that one. All this stuff goes on this one. We'll take a look at it and we'll make a decision from there. Okay, guys? Do I think it'll do something? Yeah, absolutely. Do I think it'll put it back to new? Man, could you imagine? I'd be blown away, guys. That would be one of the biggest discoveries on the show in a long time. So we will try this out in a minute. Let me get everything uh, kind of measured out. We'll do this pan first. We're going to let these set for about two to three hours, okay? All right, so the instructions are, this was like invented. Supposedly this was invented in 1938. And I've, I've heard about it probably the last few years. 
I once again I believe I've tried this before. I don't remember the outcome. I'd have to go back and look for that video. I have over a thousand videos, so some videos I've repeated not knowing. So, but I read the directions. The directions say to take this and rub it onto the surface with a soft cloth. That's all it says. So we'll see how that works, okay? And then let's treat this one the way it says to treat this one. This one says put, well, let's move the pink stuff because we're done with the pink. So let's put that over there. Let's go to this one. This one says put a little salt on here, which, oops. Take a little dish soap. All right. Just take a little uh, baking powder. Okay. Got that done. Let's put that over there. Get it out of the way. Then it says to take the dryer sheets. Well, I'm just going to use the dryer sheets to mix this all up and get it all coated. I have no idea how this is going to work. All right. Set that on there. I don't think I need another dryer sheet. I think I just need one. So we got it on there. All right. And the last thing is, pour a little vinegar, not a lot, just a little bit, on here. There we go. That should be enough. Let that sit. We're going to let that sit for three hours, too. I can't remember the time frames on that one, that formula, but basically... That dryer sheet's got vinegar on top of it, all the other ingredients underneath it. Let's leave it alone, let it sit for three hours. We'll come back in three hours and we'll clean everything up and I'll show you how it looks. All right guys, so it looks like uh, it's been three hours. So I came back in the kitchen because the alarm went off. I was literally just broadcasting live uh, to everybody. So let's uh, check it out and see if we can get it to Well, that doesn't look like it's taken much off. Took a little bit off, but anything would have done that. Let's go. I'm going to go scrub it on the uh, sink real quick. Not hard, just a little bit. The only good news that came out of this what, this pan was that it cleaned up the bottom enough to tell you who makes it so you can order a new one if you don't want this. This didn't come off. Uh, I tried to get it to come off. I scrubbed it. And it didn't come off. So, now, let's see how this works. Yeah, it's pretty dry and crusty. Uh, that's kind of how I imagined it. So, let me take this over to the sink and scrub this off too and see what happens. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it's pretty dry and crusty. Uh, that's kind of how I imagined it. So let me take this over to the sink and scrub this off too and see what happens. All right. So as predicted, neither one worked. Still got crap on it. Doesn't clean it like it shows. So neither one of these things work. This pink stuff is just pink stuff. Doesn't do anything else. So there it is, TikTok. You need to you need to vet your videos. You need to do something because we're starting to see a bunch of lies on TikTok, and that's not good. If I can't believe anything I see on TikTok, it's just not gonna.
hold any water, and I expect TikTok to go away as fast as Snapchat. So there you go. That failed. I love you guys, and we'll keep trying out tests for you, okay? I like to call them experiments, all right? Love you. Bye-bye.